or not. Did it go? I can't tell because I got a Adobe Flash download me later thing. Let's see if you're still live. I think you probably are, but now I can't tell. That's not it. Let's try to find it. There. Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Adobe wanted to take my life over. We're going to start here with our feet moving side to side. So welcome to another legendary workout. It is Friday. It's our fun day. So I just go crazy. If you're new to this, it's a lot of fun. Hang in there. All right. You got five, four, three, two. Jump rope. Right here. Jumping rope. Even my hair is fun today. It's like wacky hair day. It's going to fall out throughout this whole thing, but it's okay. We're going over a lot of tricksters today. Some non-tricksters, but a lot of tricksters, so it's pretty fun. Keep going right here, and then go side, 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 side. Don't go far. It's a little bit. You got five, four, three, two. Hold here and tap your knee. Tap. And then start bringing those arms in big circles so you're getting those shoulders engaged. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. As you move that around, you got five, four, three, two. Come to center of that last one. Come up, roll arms around and back. Down, arms around and back. Good. And breathe as you move those shoulders in big circles. Really stick that booty down and back. Four, three, keep going right here. Two, last one. And we're gonna twist and twist. So now you're getting that full extension in the side and back of your body, of your neck. Nothing too intense here. We're gonna do a lot of fun cardio and weight work today. So don't burn out during your warm up. Reach up with this next one. Come up. <sighs> breathe and breathe. Keep going right here. Stay strong. I know you're probably not feeling that weak yet. So <laughs> it's premature. I'm just being super encouraging today. Now four, three, two, come to center. Come all the way down. Grab those hands. Lean to the side. Oh yeah. That's good. Stay down into the side and up. Down into the side. Oof. My side really likes this today. And breathe. Keep going side to side for two more. Your last one and come all the way up. You're gonna touch one toe and touch the other. So your hamstrings feel it a little bit here. As you windmill side to side, your back and chest are opening up. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Come right here. Come all the way down and lift up. Switch to the other leg down and lift up. And switch. And switch. Good. Keep switching side to side. Scooping down and lifting toward the sky. Getting that extension in the back of your leg. You got three, two, last one. Come to center. Hands come in front of you. Feet are shoulder width apart. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. So you're opening up that chest. Bring those arms. Warming that part of your body. Keep using your breath to control right here. You got five, four. Three, two, we're gonna move into jumping jacks, starting here. Breathe, so nice, easy jacks. Today there's gonna be some wild and crazy stuff. I learned a lot. It's really funny. Okay, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Come to center, we're gonna come down into an inchworm, walk out, walk back up, and reach up. Down, out, up, and reach. Down, out, up, and reach. Down, out, up, and reach. Two more, down, out, up, and reach. Last one, down, out, up. We're gonna go to jogging in place. <sighs> Getting that blood rate up, or heart rate up, sorry. Blood rate, <laughs> going just a little bit. <sighs> Get those arms engaged. Your whole body is moving here nice and lightly. 
Take up the pace just a little bit for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. All right, so you got a good 10 seconds here before we move into our first exercise, which is going to involve arms. So I'm going to grab my heavy weights to begin with. And join me right here. You're going to bring your feet shoulder distance apart. Hands come up to your waist in 90 degree formations. And we're going to start with a little Pinocchio. So like your hands are attached to strings, lift up one arm, pull it down. Other arm, pull it down. So all of these motions here in this whole exercise are going to be as if controlled with string, pulling us up to the top. Both hands now up and down, up and down. Good. Up, down. Keep breathing. Take it down. Two more. Down. Last one. Hold it all the way up. I'm going to reach out to the side, in. Out to the side, in. Out to the side. So imagining that someone's holding those weights really tall, really high. Moving you here and there. You've got four, three, keep breathing, two, last one. Pull it all the way down and someone lifts you up to the sky. Pull it all the way down, lift up to the sky. And as you come down to the center, squeeze those shoulder blades and lift it up. Breathe, move, breathe in. You've got three, up and two, take it up. Last one, I know it burns, you got this. Take it up, bring it down. Gonna have bring those arms into nice flat positions here. I'm gonna lift one out, take it in, lift one out, take it in. Lift out, take in, breathe and breathe. Good, keep it going right here, you got Five, four, three, two, nice and smooth. Last one, drop it down. We're gonna put these to the side. We're gonna grab our lighter weights. Bring your feet so that they're about hip distance apart. And lift one arm and then the other arm as if it's being lifted up with a string. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And make those movements a little bit bigger. Keep breathing, keep moving. You've got five, four, three, two, bring them down, pull them up at the same time, reaching all the way up. We're gonna switch it up here. You can move your left arm out to the side while your right arm comes in front of you like this. Then switch that way and switch. Nice and controlled. You can always opt for heavier weights if you can stay controlled through this whole exercise. You've got four, three, two, keep breathing. Last one. Take them both down to the sides, lift them up. I wanna go up, 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 up. Like someone's just holding them right in place there. Breathe. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and flip those hands up, 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 up. And breathe, you got five, four, three, two, one. Drop it all the way down. Again, we're gonna go ahead and bring our feet together. Stick your booty out, hands come up to your waist. You're gonna press back and in, back and in. So here you're keeping your elbows, totally like locked in place, right? You're just hinging from your elbows down. Someone's directing just that part of your arm, really isolating that. Breathe. So Pinocchio is one of the tricksters, of course, because he's famous for his lies. Every time he lies, his nose gets bigger. He might be a Duran, who knows? Back, in, back. You've got four, three, Two, last one, hold it back, lift, lift, lift. So really straighten those arms out, bring them up as high as you can, 
Try bringing them up another inch. Challenge yourself. Take it up just a little more. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Come in front. I'm going to grab my heavier weights here. Come into a flat back position. And you're going to lift those elbows up. Drop them down. Elbows up. Drop them down. So again, like someone's just lifting up and isolating that one area of your body. Suck in those abs. Slightly bend your legs and breathe. Keep breathing, keep moving. You got four, three, two, last one. We're gonna hold here. Flip those hands so that they're, uh, both your hands are facing each other. You're still bending your knees ever so slightly and your back is still flat. You're gonna lift up and row in place and lift up and row in place. Again, pretend there's a string attached to these elbows. So the real story is this guy got like this log, right? And he was gonna make something out of it. I think it was a table. And when he went to chop the wood, the wood screamed and he was like, shoot, this is weird. I should give it to my neighbor, whose name happened to be Geppetto. And Geppetto was like, I will make a boy. So that is how Pinocchio got made. It's not like Geppetto was sitting working around. It's like his neighbor was pawning off the creepy goods to him. You got four, three, two, last one. Take it up. Drop those weights all the way down. Actually, sorry, keep those weights with you. We're just gonna do one more bicep curl here. Bring those hands out in front of you. And lift up, drop down. Lift up. Drop down, full range curls here. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> so you move all the way up. Your knees are soft. <sighs> Finish strong. You got three, <sighs> two, last one. We're gonna move into a uh, cardio blast here. So I guess we're gonna do something Pinocchio related. I forgot about this one. Oh, okay, so we're gonna do a uh, skater side to side. And you're gonna, Start with balancing. So part of what happens in skaters is you lift your body up off the ground so your foot never touches. So now add your arms so that one arm is staying up and the other the arm is touching down. But your foot can never touch the ground like someone's just holding it slightly above like a puppet. You got just 20 seconds left, scooting side to side. Now go a little deeper and reach a little lower when you come down with a little bit of a lower squat. Keep it up. You can do it. Go all the way down. Lift that arm up. You've got five seconds left. Almost there. Keep going. Stay strong. Last one. Great. All the way up. Whew. Sorry, I didn't think through that one. That's okay. Sometimes in life, you just go with whatever else makes sense. But Paul Bunyan is next. We're doing Americana. We have a nice long 30 second break here. So breathe, let that heart rate come down, grab water, whatever you need in order to continue. If you have any questions or points on any inaccuracies, let me know, cause that would be really good to know. I'm gonna grab one, uh, I can grab one heavyweight actually. You can grab one lightweight or one heavyweight to begin with. Take a wide position. Covering called Paul Bunyan. We're gonna lift that arm and we're gonna come all the way down and chop. Lift and chop. So you're sinking deeply into this. This lumberjack swing. And breathe. Keep it going right here. Breathe and push that down to the ground. So Paul Bunyan, giant dude, right? Famous for his industrial skills and lack of care for the environment. <sighs> Breathe, move. Except when it came to animals, he was a big animal fan. <sighs> so you may recall, he is an ox named Babe. <sighs> you got three more, three, 
two. Last one, hold at the bottom. Hold here, sticking that booty way back behind you and pulse, 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 pulse. If you can, come up onto your toe, heel up off the ground. Four, five, four, stay strong. Three, two, dig into it. Last one, come all the way up. Switching other side, then pull down. Okay, so Paul Bunyan was this giant man, right? Famous for creating uh, the Great Lakes. Another couple of lakes as well with his giant feet. A friend of all the lumberjacks in the lumberjack industry. Probably knew John Johnson. You know who I'm talking about? Whew, he comes from Wisconsin. Keep moving. You got four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Swing it all the way down and pulse, pulse, pulse. So the story of Babe. He was out wandering around Maine, right? While wandering around Maine, all the snow was going on. Everyone, all the snow was blue. He finds this baby ox. This baby ox also just totally blue. You got five. Oh, come up onto your toe if you can. Sorry, that was a tease. So the baby ox is blue because it's so cold. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it all the way up. The baby ox is blue. You're going to come down to the ground and imitate a baby ox just for a moment. Now lift one leg up and the other leg up. Breathe and move that leg up and other leg up. So uh, then Paul Bunyan brings Babe into his household. And even as Babe starts to get warmer, Babe doesn't ever lose his blue coloring. Breathe. And then so Babe becomes this blue ox that Paul Bunyan keeps and uh, goes everywhere with, right? And Babe, much like Paul Bunyan himself, just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So they're friends. We're gonna stay down here as we move into the next really fun story. There's this dog, okay? So come down steady. We're gonna move that leg out to the side, just one at a time, moving that left leg to begin with, up and up. So there's this dog. Right now we're a dog. And this dog, um, his name is Spot, and he's at a lumber mill. Sometimes things get a little crazy on the lumber mill. If you know what I'm saying. So one time this dog got split in half. You know, things happen. I'm not, <laughs> this story is so fun, beginning to end. So they sew him back together. And when they sew him back, put your leg up and pulse, 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 pulse. They accidentally sew each half up the wrong way. So he's cutting half like down the center, like right here, his gut. Bring that leg down, switch to the other side. And when they sew him back, his front legs are down on the ground, but his back legs are facing the wrong direction. So his name is Spot the Reversible Dog. And yes, this is part of American folklore. You can look it up. Um, it reminds me of the Mark Twain quote that my dad always says, which is from a book called Puddinhead Wilson, which this dog is barking. And they say, this guy, Puddinhead Wilson, says, if that was my dog, or if I had half that dog, I would kill my half. And nobody really understands Puddinhead, but he's quite a clever man. So anyway, so they put back both the halves of the dog, so. Much to Puddin' Head's chagrin. You're gonna do one more here and hold it up and pulse, 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 pulse. So right now we're just doing the dog movement. Don't worry, during cardio, we will be doing the reversible dog portion of this exercise. Go ahead and come all the way down. Plant those hands into the ground, pull yourself up, walk in towards your hands, and roll all the way up. So we're in America. Paul Bunyan's bringing all these terrible blights. Go ahead and come down and up to the uh, terrain of the US, but we've got a new friend. You're gonna pull down, up, curtsy lunge, up, down, up, curtsy lunge. His name is Johnny Appleseed, and he's going through America, planting trees just like you right now. Dipping down, planting a tree, planting another tree, 
dipping down and planning, dipping and planning. He had thighs of steel. Keep going. You've got just a few more seconds of this before I move into the reverse little dog. I'm not fully sure how this is gonna work. You guys are testing it out for me, but it's super fun. Keep going right here. Dig deep and come all the way down good. Keep moving down. Those glutes are feeling it. Those quads are feeling it. Everything should be burning just a little bit right now. So you're planting these trees for two more, one on each side. Take it down and plant that last tree and come up. Shake those legs out. So you just got a couple minutes of rest here before we move into the reversible dog. I'll show you a mini demonstration and you can do your best at home. And we come down here. You're gonna do a dog here. And then you flip over and do a dog here. Because that's how he does. All right, here we go. <laughs> Spot the reversible dog and flip over and run this way. That was his big claim to fame. Turn over and run. Is that when his back legs get tired? Flip over. He could just flip over and run on the other side of his body. And flip. All right. Flip over. This would be quite challenging if I were to die. And flip. Keep breathing, keep moving, flip it over. All right, you got just 20 seconds left here. Flip and move. And flip. 10 more seconds. And flip. You're almost there. And flip one more time. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Excellent work. You conquered the reversible dog. Woo! Believe me, when I came across that story, I was like, this is too crazy to pass up. Okay, so right now, you just entered 30 seconds to cool down. Grab water, anything you need, before we move into our next mostly strength-based set of exercises. What we're doing next, um, oh, oh yeah, okay. I guess we're gonna stay down on the ground though, I think. Yes, Anansi, we're traveling to Africa. Anansi the spider. Whew. We're gonna come down first onto all fours once again, except we're not. We're not babe this time. We are ram. Stick that leg out behind you. Take it out six inches, pull it back. Out six inches, pull it back. Keep your hips squared and toward the ground. So this ram is the king's favorite animal. Prized ram, prized possession. This is the story, by the way, of how Anansi got, became a spider. He was not always a spider. Keep breathing. So, the Nazi threw a rock at the ram right in between his head. And we're going to hold it to the side and we're going to pulse, 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 pulse. Breathe here. And it killed the ram. And this is this king's prized possession. So, Nazi's like, well, shoot. Got to find a way to cover this up. Bring that leg down. Other leg comes back. And we'll take out six inches in six inches. So a Nazi goes out and sees this spider on this tree, this big tall coconut tree or whatever, fruit nut, some kind of nut tree, and ties the ram up right where this spider is. And then, of course, tells on the spider to the king and says, Yeah, this spider just killed your ram. So the king sentences the spider or kills the spider. I can't really remember. Um, but what's important is that the spider is blamed. And eventually the king's wife is like, yo, dude, that spider, is this the way that spider could kill a ram? What are you talking about? It must have been a Nazi. Take that leg out to the side and pulls up, 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 up. And so the king invites a Nazi to his home. And uh, Nancy thinks, well, I must be getting a reward. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in. Push it all the way back. Breathe here. Let those glutes rest for a moment. And indeed, uh, it's not a reward. The guy tricked him, this ultimate trickster, and then turns Anansi into a spider. And that is how Anansi becomes a spider, is for killing around and hitting it on a on a on a different spider. All right, so we're gonna move into a new story. Also fun. Oh darn, I think I used my move. We'll come up with a new move. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna come onto your hands, lift your knees ever so slightly up off the ground. You're gonna tuck and pull those glutes in and relax. So you can pull those glutes in, relax. We're gonna add in a move here. Neutralize everything, still keep those knees up. Bring your leg in, put it back. Now you're turtle walking. Keep those knees above the ground the whole time. The turtle sees Anansi and says, I wanna share a meal. Anansi's up in his tree eating yams, as Anansi does. And Anansi's like super greedy. He's like, no way. And then the turtle's like, please. He's like, all right, fine. So the turtle climbs up to Anansi. Anansi says, dude, it's rude to sit at a dinner table with your hands dirty. Three, two, last one. Take it down. Come all the way down, reach back. So the turtle goes and washes his hands and then comes back up to Anansi's house. Come all the way up. The turtle's walking again. Bring those knees up off the ground and walk. And Anansi's again like, dude, your feet, they're so dirty. This is super rude. Go wash your hands. He does it again, comes back up. And Nancy's like, I ate all my hands. Oh, you're gone. And the turtle's like pretty miffed. Three, two, last one. Excellent job. Come all the way down. Reach those hands out in front of you. Whew. So then the, the turtle puts together this fabulous food. Come all the way up onto your stomach. Bring those hands out in front of you. We're going to start something. The turtle is in the water, as a turtle is. And the turtle says, uh, Anansi, if you want, you can join me for dinner. And Anansi's like, sure. That sounds great. I am a greedy spider. I want food. So he starts swimming down to meet the turtle at his place in the water, but he can't. He pops right out of the water as soon as he hits it, because he's too light. And he tries again, dives in, can't get down. So he takes his dinner jacket, which of course a spider has, and fills it with pebbles. You got three, two, one, hold here, and lift both those legs up. We're just paddling a little bit now. Why? Because with those pebbles in his jacket, he can easily sink down to the bottom of the water and meet the turtle for his dinner. And the turtle says, Hanansi, don't you know it is rude to eat your dinner with your jacket still on? So Anansi takes off the jacket with all the pebbles in it and immediately floats up to the surface to come back swimming. Whew. Keep breathing, keep going. Those boots are on fire, I know. And uh, he cannot eat the food and the turtle got the one up on him again with politeness and charades and pretty. Three, two, one, come all the way up. We're gonna do a spider move. Come down onto your forearms, bring your legs up behind you, bring one knee in, pull it back. Pull it back, bring it in, pull it back. So we're just gonna be here for a couple more seconds or moments or seconds or whatever. It is seconds, but everything can be can in seconds technically. Keep your booty low as your knee comes up toward your elbow. You're almost done with this set of a Nazi. And then we do our cardio spider crawl. And then we move on to our next myth and legend. Three, two, final one. Pull it down, pull all the way back, extend those arms forward. Whew. The spider crawl is hard. We will be doing it for one minute in imitation of a Nazi. You're gonna come up, you're gonna come up all the way into a plank and you're gonna walk forward and you're gonna walk back, keeping your body low, moving your knee up toward your elbow. Whew. 
Should be a good workout for your abs, for your arms, as you crawl back and forth. Keep breathing, keep going. This is also called the Spider-Man crawl, or a variation of that. So if you ever want to channel superheroes instead of tricksters, that's good too. Whew. Just gotta go a little longer, guys. Hang in there, keep moving. Imagine the trickery that is coming from this. Keep going. Five seconds left, guys. Three, two, one. Come all the way down. Breathe in and out. Woo. Take your breath for a moment right here. And we're gonna head into 30 seconds of rest. Grab water, grab a fan, or your friend who takes one of those big palm tree leaves and fans you from the side. Whoever you've got around to help you out through these next 20 seconds whew, before you move on to the next exercise. You're welcome. Okay, so we're gonna come down, stay seated on the ground. We are moving to a new fun area of the world. We just spent some time in Africa. Now we're going to the islands. Go ahead and come here. Start pedaling your feet up and start swimming. Why? We're going to the Polynesian Islands. Where Maui, the god of mischief, he's a demigod, is uh, the youngest of four brothers. So it makes sense that he is a bit of a trickster. Keep going for five, four, three, two, and we're in the Polynesian Islands. We're going to come down and we're first going to talk about his magical fishing hook. So you're going to go ahead and come all the way up and hook to one side. And then hook to the other. Are you fishing? Are you lumberjacking? I mean, it really just depends on which myth you're in right now. But here we have a giant fish hook. The fish hook, I believe, is made from his grandmother's jaw. His grandma was super you know, cool and magical in some way. So this fish hook is also magical and he uses it or has it in a good number of his legends. Okay, keep going for three, take it back, two, take it back, last one, awesome. We're gonna come roll over to the side and you'll see where we're going in a moment. Come into a plank and reach up to the sky into a plank, up to the sky. So his brothers, the older brothers, are all going fishing. And they're like, dude, you can't join us. And now he's like, bummer. Um, they, they go out and they don't catch any fish. In some legends, they bring back a shark. In some legends, they don't bring back anything. Either way, eventually Maui joins them the next day. They're like, fine, Maui, you can join us. Bowie goes with them, and he brings his magic fish hook. In some legends, in New Zealand, he gashes his nose and uses his own blood as the bait on the hook. Most of the time, they just say he throws his hook into the ocean. Make sure you come into that nice straight plank and you pull all the way up. And he tugs on something, and it's strong, and he tugs. And he keeps tugging, and eventually out pops this land. Pull all the way up to the top, that downward dog. Yes, he surfaced the floor of the ocean, and that is what has created the Polynesian Islands, as well as Hawaii and New Zealand. Go ahead and come all the way down, reach back into your child's pose. So if you couldn't tell, you were just the Polynesian Island. In my mind is very structured. Not for the faint of heart. Okay, we're moving on to a new one that also involves um, his magic hook. <laughs> Bring your legs up to this guy. Go ahead and reach toward them. Let all fall down and all come up. All fall down, all come up. If you have like an orange or a ball, you can stick that between your feet and move it first into your feet, between your feet, and then into your hand and back. His mom, Maui's mom, was like, I hate that the sun goes so fast. 
that I don't have time to do all the stuff I've got to do in the day. So Maui goes out using his fish hook and captures the sun, La, and forces La to move slower. So we're going to move real slow here. Go ahead and move it out. Two, three, don't let it touch. Up, Whew, that's painful. Out, two, three, don't let it touch. Up, one more. Out, two, three, don't let it touch. Up, oh, bring those legs into your chest. So that's how we got like longer days. Is he hooked the sun and made longer days for us. Breathe in and out here, pull those legs closer to your chest and breathe. Okay, we got one more here with Maui and we might need more depending on how long I'm going. So bring those feet into a tabletop position, chest and neck come up off the floor as high as they can go comfortably while still um, not relying too much on those muscles. We're gonna push one leg out and then the other leg out, one leg out, the other leg out. So you can't tell, but this is fire, right? Imagine your legs are like flames. So Maui's all like, oh, I gotta get fire. So he finds this mud hen, which is a bird. And this bird has a smoldering fire. And the bird's like, yes, I have fire. And um, Maui's like, how do I make that? Three, two, hold here, keep moving and bring your hands down like you're fanning a fire. Keep your chest and shoulders up off the ground. So the bird's like, rub these two sticks together and you will make fire. So Maui's like, okay, but it doesn't work because the mud head tricked him. And then he's like, dude, this isn't working. So the mud head teaches him the actual sticks to use, which is a different kind. Come down to the ground, pull those legs in towards your chest and breathe. And lift those legs up straight into the air. Bring your hands with you and start moving up, twinkling those fingers like they are fire because now he uses the right sticks and he's able to create fire. So what does he do with that? Well, he burns the mud head because the mud head lied in three, two, one. Bring it all the way down, pull those legs in towards your chest. Go ahead and take those feet down on the ground. We're gonna finish just by tapping ankle to ankle. So now if you travel and you do see a mud head, the front of its face is red, as if singed and burned with fire that Maui used against it after he, the mud hen, lied to Maui. You got five, four, three, two, Last one, awesome. Pull those abs in towards your chest. We just have one cardio blast. And then we are done. Whew. Breathe in and out. I always like story time. It's a great way to end the week. And it's fun to come up with stories. Go ahead and find your way to the top. We're gonna do one more Maui exercise because he lifts the um, sky. So the sky was coming down onto Maui and to all of Earth, getting closer and closer, and in fact, would have crushed humanity. Yes, it was that dire, that extreme. And he went through, he lifted up that sky, as you are doing now, in order to prevent the sky from falling and crushing everyone down here on Earth. Whew. So we're just gonna be here for 25 more seconds. You can do it. Hang in there, sink low, jump high. Humanity depends on you. Breathe. Sing that Dwayne Johnson song to yourself from Moana. All right, keep going. You got 10 seconds. Dig deep. Your last 10 seconds of the day. You can do it. Three, two, one. Oh, my goodness. Good job, guys. You are all legends in my book. We're going to come stand with your legs. Shoulder width apart. Breathe in. Loosen anything. It's still tense. And breathe out. Whew. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Drop down to the ground in front of you. Bring your hands to the ground. Start walking them between your feet. Whew. 
and breathe. I came downstairs about 20 minutes before class started to see how the reversible dog would go. <laughs> And I was just in here laughing. <laughs> Go ahead and plant your left arm into the ground. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Oh, yes. Open up that chest. Take more deep breaths in and out here. Inhale and let that arm blow. Just a little bit bigger. And exhale. Let it drop to the ground. Exchange it for your opposite arm. Lift your arm up to the sky. Breathe. Take one more big deep breath in and really inflate. And exhale and let your hand come down to the ground. Stick those fingertips on the ground. Loop your shoulders back. Take your hands to your hips. If you're now in a flat back position. Go ahead and lift yourself up all the way up to standing. We're gonna go ahead and turn and face our right leg. Let our left leg drop back and come into a long runner's lunge. So you can either stay here, if it's better for you to come down on your knee, either way is great. Let's sink into this long hip flexor stretch. Let your left hand drop onto the ground. We're gonna open that right arm up toward the sky, opening our chest. And then let that hand come down to the outside of your foot. Drop your back knee down and lift your toes up in front of you. As you bend down over this leg, exhale, and put closer to this leg with each breath. Guys, it's Friday. So you've made it through yet another long, hard week. Wherever you're coming from, whether it was really challenging or whether you feel like you're just still stuck in this weird time that seems to just drag on and on and on. You can use things like this, like classes or anything, even one little scheduled thing in your day that can bring you some joy. Go ahead and roll forward, pull all the way up. We're gonna sort of monkey crawl our way to the opposite leg into a long hip flexor stretch. So you can come up or you can let that knee touch onto the ground, whatever works best for you. Sink into this, get that stretch. But the main point of all that is that you have accomplished so much this week, even if you feel like you're still just walking through a fog. Really great work on coming out. Thank you for coming out today. I hope you enjoyed some of those stories. They're always so much fun. Breathe here. Drop that back knee down. Oh, I didn't open up. Stay here. <laughs> Let your hand come down to the floor. Open up that chest. Oh, yeah. Breathe here. Now drop that hand down and drop that knee onto the floor. Bend back over that leg. Let those toes come up off the ground and sink a little lower with each breath toward this leg. Think about what your body could do this week that it couldn't do last week, or what you're excited about be it being able to do next week that maybe you couldn't do this week. We're constantly changing, constantly growing. It's one of the most exciting things about our lives. Come all the way up. We're gonna bring that foot in. We're gonna snuggle into a seated position. We're gonna do a cow head. Pose. So I'm going to wrap my knees around like this. You can also just bring one knee over the other. Cow's head is appropriate because we did babe today, and babe is a bull, so similar in some ways. Or an ox, sorry, not even a bull. You give me one minute of cardio, and it all goes out the other side of the ear. Breathe here. Start walking forward. Sinking a little deeper into this. Go ahead and switch for the opposite leg. Oof. And sink down toward the floor. Breathe in and out. It's 
Start walking all the way back up. Bring your legs into a cross position. Hands come down to your sides. We're gonna do two big deep breaths here. The first one, bring it up and exhale. One more, take it all the way up and exhale it all out. Thank you for coming this week and for coming today. And it's so fun. Let me know you came. Um, to those of you who've been coming regularly all the time, congratulations on always getting more and more classes in. You guys are rock stars. I will see you soon. Love to you all. Bye.